Is this what you want, you filthy swindler? A pond full of piss? I'm happy to oblige. Fessis <laughs> Dominus Nostra Sapiens Nubus, Vide Collecta Stupra in Terra Aceres, Et Locustus Est Ad Eum Et Precipit Rex Good people of Winchester, open your eyes. See how Alfred's lofty ideals are weighed down in this mire of human effluence. These prisoners before you do not live by Alfred's laws. They live above them. They wallow in shit, only guided by their own perversity. Hubert here, his wits addled by ale, spoke false of Bishop Aylforth, our pious servant of Winchester, who even now lies cold in his grave shroud. Aylforth was no man of God. He'll burn for his sins. Your wife is a baying shrew, Hubert. Is there a man here who has not supped rancid mead from her cup? When will your work be done, Selwyn? When all of Winchester falls to your justice? Winchester has passed judgment, Hubert. May God have mercy on your cankerous soul. And so I ask, who has the right to determine the fate of the perverse if not the goodly people of Winchester? I am but your humble servant. Perverter of justice, who dares execute the king's noose? It is not in Alfred's name that you carry out your work. You are the Order's executioner. <laughs> you peer through the veil, but you do not see clearly. Alfred's laws are a slave's fever dream. He offers shit-soaked beggars a seat at his table where the meek devour the strong. Who best to judge the fate of the wretched many, if not the strong and worthy few? To protect your people, you must sheathe your hand in an iron glove. You grind your heels into the backs of freedmen, not those who deserve it. The Order condemns all men to pain. For all men are but a shadow of the perfection we should know. The perfection of the Ancient Ones. You are only a man, Reed. One dead branch on a fast-dying tree. Strength. Ha! All have you 
found on the quill. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? I did only what I agreed to, Alfred. If your crown now weighs heavy, I would gladly take it from you. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Eivor? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Someone disagrees with your reforms, Alfred, and he is calling the children to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets, feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done, and try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your Saxon mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve. Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it will keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank you. Spry, little mouse. Will you lead me to your quill? Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelfeth's pyre. Very poetic. But he is going to be buried in the ground of the river. Golden weather, the molten wet <gasps> Get off me, you oh. 
Stealing apples, eh? Fruit don't feed a grown boy. Do you have any chicken? I do not. But maybe you can tell me what you know of the quill. The quill? God blimey, you're brave. Find Alwyn and Wigbert. They see everything. What is that boy doing all the way up there? So brave, like a young King Alfred. He'll crack his head like a fresh hen's egg. Well, God's beard! You'll set Winchester ablaze! Roly poly mutton man, you can't catch me! Oh, God help me! I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again. Jump, Lee, jump, Lee, jump! Stop it, you grubkin! If he falls, God will punish you! I'm gonna do it! You see if I don't! I'm just screwing my courage to the sticky place! <laughs> oh, it's... What are you doing all the way up here? Don't try and stop me! I will get that flower, and then she'll see how much I love her. A brave choice, little fellow. Even if I get smashed on the ground like an, an overripe plum, I'm just getting my breath back. The climb was hard. I'm girding my uh, uh, loins. Lions, eh? Well, I could get it for you. I would hate to see such a ferocious flame snuffed out. I mean, if you insist. But I could get it if I wanted to. Just so you know. I need your eyes, my friend. your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotna. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well? Oi! Wigbert, you great moon calf. Hand it over, Alwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? I'm not sure. Looks like an old lady's been rolling in shit with all the other ugly sows. A hog in a dress, maybe? Do something oh, useful! <laughs> Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? I'm looking for the quill, so I'm asking you, as little worker bees. Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? I am innocent as a lamb. They were the quill stugs and you killed them. Wouldn't want to be in your boots. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you're not working for the Quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the Quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give him what you took. Maybe he can save us.
Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. I should watch out for a mousetrap. Do you believe in souls? The part of us that lives on with God after we die. Bishop Aelthus passing has made me wonder. <sighs> You have the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence, and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress!
she flee to the bishop's house? For your relief! Put the conspector on the quality next. Help us! Pues es mi raste! ¡Alberta! Show me. The Dane wants my blood. Show yourself, murderer! Guards, protect me! Come then, you rat! Come, child. Whisper what you've learned, and Mother will give you a treat. Coward. Using children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until you're seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. Use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit. Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart. I taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I won't. But you cannot. You have corrupted too many to save too few. Ah! My order is the only way forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated. And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. A 
A pity. Non requiescat in pace. Goodwin said to medium at an alehouse nearby. Tum revolutum is no known. Master Tukere walked with dear welfare. His escort? Yes, he must be out of here. You think you can guzzle the grog? Eivor! Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I've been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I sat easy with my kinspain, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. I could use someone like you in my settlement, with ink on his fingers and a sense of honor. I would love to devote myself to the study and practice of the law. There is a weariness in war I wish I could shake off. Impossible. Even in death our battles will rage on. It is the way of things. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Sikhs is dead? The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Sikhs, the Sikhs is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I do not believe it. Too much steered in Winchester. Overwrought prayers and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. Ma 
Bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. Lord, grant my brother Aelfa eternal bliss, where joy endures for all those beloved of God. Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. I will leave you in peace then. Only his face was burned. That seems like a strange accident. And this corpse's build is slight, frail. Goodwin said Aelfirth was a brute. Stranger comes to Wember. You do not mourn like they do. Wember is always here, helping the sleeping, singing to them, so they are not frightened before they meet God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wember helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Aelfirth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor. Poor Layoff. Layoff? What happened to him? Sleeping. Sleeping like my dog when I hugged him too hard. Someone heard Layoff? Yes. Yes. And while he slept, they stole his face. Not just stolen, but burned. Threadbare clothes. Did they belong to Wemberstrand? This funeral is a shadow play. The order killed an innocent, burned his face so no one could tell, and interred him in Eelfirth's place. His sister knows more than she lets on. What now? A pretty show you have laid on here. But I know the truth. You would dare speak to me? When my poor brother Aelfirth lies cold in his shroud. Your brother is the Sikhs, and no more dead than I am. Heresy. My brother was the Bishop of Winchester. When Goodwin got too close to the truth about your brother's place in the Order, you buried him. Or rather, you buried another in his place. The poor gravedigger's friend. Burning his face so no one would know. How did you... No, I... I... Talk now, or you will join the poor unfortunate you murdered in his grave. You bastard Dane. You're as bad as them. I only ever wanted to serve God. God! All right, all right, have your way. They won't do you any good. God, protect me!
Why will you not leave me alone? Enough of this, Cat and Mouse. Where is your brother, the one they call the Seeks? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more of the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred. Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. Aid me, be my eyes. The Seeks must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Not priest, clerk, or abbot can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's words if they are not spoken in our tongue? Aelferth is dead, and we mourn him. But the foul deeds of the unrighteous are sown among our holy deeds like cockles and tear in a field of wheat. Education. Wisdom. Enlightened thought. This will raise us above the sins of our fathers. These I will demand of the next Bishop of Winchester. And so we meet to discuss all worthy candidates and choose the man who will shepherd our flock. <laughs> the King is mine! By God, it's true. The Bishop lives. How sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came. And God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all. And I hated him. It may be Alfred's guard was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in lamb's wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf 
is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the Old Minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. You, Dane. My brother served God. He wrapped himself in a death cloak to murder your king. Shouldn't you rejoice at the death of a king? You are a heathen and a devil. We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. But this damned order, their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. Show me what lies ahead. Survey the area, Sunan. If Aelfer's sister spoke tr true, I will find answers in the ruins. Secrets. I 
will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. Everything they did was to undermine Alfred. She lied to me. There's nothing here of the Order. I should see Alfred for my reward. Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity.
This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither, he offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumples to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving. had your chance, damn you! I did not want it. Damn you, Alfred. I will return to Hytham and Ranmi. They will want to know what happened there. Yes, yes, one more, and only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one, this one begins a long time ago. Hey, Vol, have you seen Wallace? Good to see you, darling. The Order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The Order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred, the line between friend and enemy is a porous one. 